Hello everyone, I am Daniel Gail Archua from Bachelor of Secondary Education major in English second year. And for today, we will be discussing the lesson about assessing meaning by James Ennis Purpura. Let us now talk about the abstract of this lesson. The article discusses the importance of conveying meaning in language use context and argues that language assessments should include assessment of proportional and pragmatic meanings in addition to functional proficiency. The author reviews how meanings have been conceptualized in second language proficiency models and highlights the complexity of defining and ep operationalizing meanings in assessments. The author calls on language testers to think about what meanings they want to test and assess explicitly. Now, let us talk about the introduction of this lesson. Non-native speakers use second or foreign language to express a wide range of meanings within social, academic, professional, and literary contexts. In addition to the prepositional or factual content of messages, which can be context-free or decipherable apart from a communicative situation, messages also encode intended or functional meanings and implied or implicational pragmatic meanings that depend on the context of language use. These implied meanings can arise from word order, situational Sociolinguistic, sociocultural, and implied and psychological factors. Sorry. The interaction among topical knowledge, language knowledge, and context, as well as the sociocognitive features of task engagements, enable nuanced communication but also increase the risk of communication breakdown or miscommunication of, of intent, which presents second language learners with daunting challenges and heartwarming joys. Now, let us talk about the early developments. The importance of meaning in models of second language proficiency has been acknowledged by some language testers. Laudot proposed a model of second language proficiency in 1961 based on the idea that language is used to convey linguistic, cultural, and individual meanings between individuals. He prioritized discrete linguistic elements over rich communicative situation in his assessment design, resulting in assessments of forms and associated meanings rather than situationally appropriate responses. An example of this in his assessment of phonological awareness through lexis and testing the meaning of counterfactual if clauses. The article discusses different approaches to assessing language proficiency, specifically the role of meaning in language assessment. It compares the work of three linguists, Lado, Carol, and Aller. Lado believe in the importance of assessing meaning in extended production tasks through rating scales. Carol, Carol believed in meaning and measuring the total effect of an utterance and recommended performance tasks. Aller advanced the conversation and meaning by describing language as both the interpre interpretational and conveyance of factual content and the transmission of emotive or effective meanings in language use. He also emphasized the importance of contextual features. Overall, Aller's conceptualization of second language proficiency, which took into account um, linguistic knowledge, factual or topical knowledge, pragmatic knowledge, including emotive and contextual features, is seen as similar to current conceptualizations of second language proficiency. Now, let us talk about the major contributions. Bachman and Palmer proposed a model of communicative language ability that emphasized the, the role of meaning in language use. Their model in, includes language knowledge, topical knowledge, effective schemata, strategic competence, and other personal attributes. Language knowledge consists of organizational and pragmatic knowledge with organizational knowledge encompassing grammatic and textual knowledge. 
and pragmatic knowledge encompassing functional and social linguistic knowledge. The model emphasizes the interaction between language knowledge and other factors in the creation and understanding of meanings in discourse. Functional knowledge refers to the ability to use language to understand or achieve communicative goals in context such as interpreting in indirect requests or understanding humor. There are four categories of functional theory or knowledge. Ideational, ide, sorry, ideational, manipulative, heuristic, and imaginative. The role of propositional content and context in expressing and interpreting functional knowledge is unclear, and assessments based solely on functioning proficiency may provide a partial estimate of proficiency. Social linguistic knowledge is the ability to use language appropriately in um, particular language use settings, such as using appropriate registers or cultural references. It emphasizes user sensitivity to these features rather than their ability to recognize and transmit implicit meanings in context. Social linguistic knowledge extends meaning beyond what is literally indexed in discourse, and its assessment is important for evaluating pragmatic ability. Bachman and Palmer in 2010 works on language assessment suggests that topical knowledge, ref which refer to an individual's background knowledge and ability to use language in reference to the real world, should be considered in test design. So why? The author suggests three options for separating language ability and topical knowledge in test design. Defining first is define, defining the construct solely in terms of social ability. Second is defining them as a single construct. And third is defining them as separate constructs. Further investigation. However, uh, the relationship between topical knowledge and language ability is complex and needs further investigation. However, communicate, communication tasks include language, topical content, and language, language and cognitive disposition should all be specified in assessment tasks as they can moderate second language performance. Douglas in 2000 also argues that background knowledge is critical to the specific purpose language ability or the SPLA and LSP contexts. Pragmatic knowledge involves knowledge structures that enables learners to utilize contextual factors such as speech acts, indexicals, presuppositions, situational and cultural implicators, and conversational and textual structuring to understand, express, co-construct, or negotiate meanings beyond what is explicitly stated by the prepositional meaning of the utterance. Pragmatic knowledge includes functional knowledge and implicational knowledge and involves encoding a wide range of meanings that are implicated by shared presuppositions, experience, and associations with reference to the communicative situation. There are seven types of implied pragmatic meanings encoded in talk and text, situational meanings, social linguistic meanings, and social cultural intercultural meanings, so psychological meanings, literary meanings, rhetorical meanings, and interactional meanings. Work in progress. The article discusses the role of meaning in language assessments. Bay et al. in 2016 studies the role of content, content in writing assessment and found that examinees with higher levels of content control produced more original, reflective, and interpretative texts conveying greater levels of topical understanding. Timpe and Timpe Lafley. Timpe Laughlin et al. in 2015 proposed a model for assessing pragmatic competence that 
addresses interactive construction and context with five dimensions of second language knowledge. Sabatini et al. in 2016 proposed a technique for scenario-based assessments that measures learners' ability to display and develop language and topical knowledge while performing a tightly structured and topically coherent sequence of tasks. These assessments reflect the multi-faith multi um, processes people use when working in working in a group to research and solve a complex problems, problems and difficulties. Despite the importance of language in assessments, few researchers have defined the construct of meaning in a way that allows for system, systematic and meaningful measurements. This is due to the complexity of meaning, which involves several layers of meanings at different levels of language use, as well as contextual factors that, that influence meaning. The challenge for testers is determined which meanings to assess and how to assess them appropriately. It is possible to assess different layers of meanings by sp specifying the appropriate amount of context in assessment input. Testers should be conscious of the meanings they are assessing implicitly. Now, let us talk about the future directions. This article argues that in addition to the second language knowledge and strategic competence, second language performance assessments needs to consider context, interactional, and topical knowledge expressed through meaning conveyance. The author emphasizes that testers should not ignore the fundamental role of meaning in communication and second language proficiency, and that second language learners need to know if their communication was affected and appropriate in various contexts. This concludes my lesson. Thank you so much for listening and I hope you learned something from my discussion. Goodbye!